we talk a lot about mental health here on Fox 2, and I think overall the conversation definitely more transparent, but for some folks, especially in law enforcement, there's definitely still a stigma attached. Now, this local family says that their son, a former Chesterfield Township police officer, was fired for speaking out and asking for help. This is their story. It's heartbreaking as a father to watch him struggle. Jeff and Michelle Baker say their son withered away. 28 year old Josh Baker, a former Chesterfield Township police officer. He wasn't eating. He wasn't sleeping. Um, we would see him and his he's got dark circles under his eyes and his cheeks are sunken in. He lost 60 pounds and was in crisis. Later, they learned he was suffering from PTSD. Trace back to a call last year where a seven year old girl was hit by a truck in neighboring New Baltimore. Josh and another officer didn't wait for delayed EMS. They transported the girl to the hospital themselves. He thought she was dying in his arms. He said, I thought she was dying in my arms when she closed her eyes. She survived, saved by Josh and fellow officers, but that call haunted him, sending his mental health spiraling. Adding to it, Josh was disciplined for his decision to transport the girl and to cross into another jurisdiction. Eventually, in March, he pleaded with his supervisor at Chesterfield PD for help, admitting he used THC to help sleep. Instead of mental health help, his parents say the department drug tested him and later delivered this letter in April, firing him for presence of THC. Just another slap in the face to a kid that's trying to heal from something that traumatized him. Dad Jeff says his son was brave enough to ask for help only to be shunned. These people respond to some of the most heinous crimes you can think of and see some of the most awful things I don't think human beings should even see. And we expect them to do it turn it off and go on to the next call. They're speaking out to shed light on the stigma saddled on first responders when it comes to mental health. We need to take care of them so that they can take care of all of us. We spoke with a sergeant over at Chesterfield Township Police today asking about this situation. Uh, he is the public information officer. He simply said no comment. I pressed a little, uh, you know, is it because it's a personnel issue? He left it at no comment. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Well, Jessica, because they fired the officer after he came forward saying he needed help, he needed help for PTSD, for mental health, isn't that a violation of the American Disabilities Act? I mean, does he even want his job back at this point? Uh, that's a question for an attorney, and that is who uh, the parents have been consulting. See if maybe there's a civil issue here. The union is also fighting on his behalf to get his job back. His dad told me, frankly, I wouldn't take that job back, but I think Josh right now focused on healing. He is still in the throes of his condition right now. Yes, it's what some so many officers go through every single day, what they witness and deal with. And this one actually came forward and this is what happened. All right, Jessica, thanks for that report. We'll see what happens.